Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy October! As somebody who believes that Halloween is the best season of all, definitely my favorite holiday or occasion, whatever you want to call it, um, I decided that to kick off October and all the spookiness that I would design some Halloween tattoo flash. So as I probably have mentioned a few times before, one of my goals in life is to eventually become a tattoo artist. So even though I'm not one now, I still like designing flash because it's just another excuse to make tattoo designs that I think are cool. So to start off with, I've got one of those Ouija board planchettes. I am pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I don't actually own a Ouija or Ouija board because um, that kind of freaks me out, but I think that they're beautiful, in particular the little planchettes. So I wanted to design my own. I took some inspiration from things that I saw on Pinterest. Actually, a lot of the things that I have on my little flash sheet, I took inspiration from Pinterest. So I designed that one first. The second one that I designed was a little Polaroid picture of two ghosts that says no feet um, because I have watched Beetlejuice twice in the last couple weeks and I love the movie. So I decided to jump on this tattoo design boat and make one just like a bunch of other people have. So design number three is a bottle of poison. And then these three are the largest designs and they're also my favorite. So I decided to put them all together as like one flash sheet. And then the smaller designs that I make later are all on a separate one because they're just like random. I'm not necessarily as happy with them, but they are still like Halloween themed. I might make more designs in the future because I was kind of drawing a blank, like I hit art block after drawing these first three. So that's why the other ones are a lot smaller, but um, I might revisit this when I get out of my little bit of art block here. So anyways, um, it took a while for me to draw all of these things just because I was putting in so much detail in the first three. Um, but I'm really, really, really happy with the way that they turned out. And honestly, these are some designs that I definitely would actually get tattooed myself. They fit my style really well. I prefer very simplistic like line art with not a lot of shading or anything. So it's just right up my alley. And here you can see that we are starting into these smaller designs. So I have one regular pumpkin and then I make one into a little smiling jack-o'-lantern because of course, jack-o'-lanterns are part of Halloween. It's what my mood tracker is for this month, if you guys watched my last video. So I will be drawing lots of jack-o'-lantern faces in the coming weeks because of that mood tracker. So I thought it was only fitting to add it to my tattoo flash sheet. Now, the next design that I did was this little silhouette of a bat. I probably could have tried a little harder on this one, but this is how I always draw bats, and I thought it was just nice, cute, simple to add. I have a tattoo above my right, like, elbow ditch um, of some words, and I think that a design like that bat would fit, like, perfectly where I have those words tattooed. And then I did a cute little black cat silhouette sitting on, like, a ledge course can't forget having a little tombstone this one took me a while because I was like do I want to add the ground like I did with the cat do I want to just have those little pieces of grass anyways here is the final flash sheets I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment down below I, and subscribe to my channel I post new videos every Monday afternoon 3 p.m mountain standard time and I will see you all next week